Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in the Elements Organizer 2018. Now, the Organizer is, of course, a program that comes bundled with both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. It's a file management tool, but it has a lot of cool tools built into it beyond that. One tool that's been given a major overhaul here in version 2018 is the Slideshow Creator. And the Slideshow Creator here in the latest version of the Elements Organizer can be used with both slides and video clips. So I'm going to grab just a couple of uh, random clips here. I'm just going to hold down the Control key or the Command key on a Mac. Just grab a couple, some photos, some video clips, just grabbing a handful of them here. And then I'm going to go up to the Create button and select Slideshow. Now this is going to give me a preview of the slideshow based on the default template. It will generate a preview here and it looks like this. And that's how it works basically. Now we can do some revisions to this. If we go up here to the media button in the upper left hand corner and we click on that, we'll see the media that we've added to our slideshow. Now the ones with little film strips on them of course are video clips and you'll see them in their entirety, but you also have the option of adding still photos which are the little thumbnails here that have no annotation on them. And you can rearrange them any way you want simply by clicking to select and then clicking and dragging to the new position. Click to select and then drag. So you can arrange in any order you want. Now I don't know that there's a way to trim the video clip to make it shorter so it will show each video clip in its entirety before changing slides. You can add an additional text slide in between your video clips or your stills and you can add more photos and videos by clicking on this button in the upper right hand corner and that will open up your browser in order for you to select more media clips. The text slides, like this very first one here, this title slide, it says memory by default. If I double click on it, I can customize that so I can call this and I can even give it a subtitle. And when I click save, that's going to update the title slide. And now when I preview the video, you'll see it with the updated title. So to preview it, all I need to do is just close this box by clicking again on the button in the upper left and then it will generate a new preview for me. So we'll pause that again. Uh, in addition to the media, you can, of course, select your own theme. So it's kind of an instant movie based on these themes, but there's some very nice looking themes. Right now it's using the pan and zoom theme. We can grab, for instance, watercolor. We'll take a look at what that looks like. Each one of these themes not only applies a look to your slideshow, but it also applies music and just sort of a general template. Let's try the watercolor. We'll close this and it will apply that theme. Let's take a look at the preview for it. So you can see that's a bit more upbeat. We can of course also customize the music. Now by default each theme comes with a music track that's generated from Scores. Scores is of course the music program that's included with Premiere Elements. But if you'd like you can go through your own music selection on your hard drive either by going through the list that appears here in the audio column or you can click on plus audio or add audio up here in the upper right hand corner and actually browse your hard drive for an audio clip or a song. So minimal customization is mostly based on templates but kind of cool some very very beautiful templates in here and beyond that it's pretty much automatic. You select the templates, you throw your media in and then you let it go. Mm -hmm. 